What's up, YouTube? I meant to give you an update on what was going on. Uh, here are my old controllers. Fifteen hundred watts. Uh, I was thinking about shunting them, like the guys say on mine. Those two little metal bars you see right there. You put a piece of metal in between there, and you solder it in. Supposed to give you a little boost in power. Uh, but I had one issue with these. They were good with my 52 volt battery and my 48 volt battery. As you can see, take that off. Yeah, 52 volt, 20 amp hour. But I got me a set of these. They have already wired up. Put my ends on. And although they don't say what their wattage is, it's a lot more than those. And they can handle 72 volts. Because I have now, as you saw in my unboxing, a 72 volt battery. Now, this is the dual motor. And what I did was, I made a battery mount to put the 72 volt battery on it. After looking at how it was on the other, my other bike with the mid drive on it, I was like, wow, that battery little rack works real good. So, so the way it's going to be is the battery is going to sit in here. I'm going to mount the, oh man, I didn't even paint that. I need to paint that first turn. Well, I'm going to mount the controllers on the side right there like I did before. And I can tell you right now, I already had them hooked up. And they... <laughs> They turned them wheels a whole lot quicker. So, yeah, 40. I ain't got no, no, no problem knowing that we're going to hit 40. But how much over that? I don't know. Well, I'm kind of tired right now. Don't think I'm going to get into putting all the controllers on the bike and everything tonight. But first thing tomorrow, that's what I'm going to do to get a test in. It is past midnight now so not gonna happen all right i'll give you an update when i throw it on